All right, how are you all doing? Welcome to another, because we didn't learn the first time, with the sim driver, we've ordered another tour issue head. Only this time, fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. Two drivers to show you. We're going to use the one shaft, both tailor-mades. Let's get to the kind of unboxing. Obviously, I've had a wee sneaky peeky. So it's in here. Here it is. It's looking a lot better than the sim driver. I'll tell you that now. We've uh, done a little repair to it. Not, not a huge repair. Just a little bit. You can see a tiniest. It's all, almost invisible. Tiny little dent there. 10.5. Um, degree head M4 tailor made no marks on it whatsoever I've put some ghost tape on the crown but there isn't any marks on it ghost tape in case you don't know just protects it um, great head like it really is a good looking head and twist face obviously um, it's a genuine head it's the newer one how can you tell well the serial number Focus camera. It kind of gives it away a little. And uh, obviously, the colours are different. It's like BMW colours on the uh, bottom of it. So that kind of um, gives it away a little. Right, so let's just give you a sneaky. Ooh, ho, ho. So we've kind of. Uh, Set that there. We've kind of uh, improved, if you like, jumped about 20 years uh, ahead because we've now got the M2 uh, Geo Acoustic and this, th I'm just going to compare these together because uh, we had this in the range we, and we were hitting it and it sounded awful. However, I've been out on the golf course and it sounds completely different. It also <laughs> put ghost tape on it as well to protect it. Because the way these drivers are designed, they're, de they're, they're like really designed strangely on the crowns. Also, this cutout here goes right in, right round. It's like a geoacoustic cutout. Now, what's amazing about this is the new Max 10. Um, driver from TaylorMade that's like over 500 quid exactly copies that so you've got this M2 what I think came out 2017 could be wrong 2017 I believe might have to google that uh, and it's obviously got a cracking shaft it's got the Fujikura XLR8 um, this, what is it? It's actually a regular flex, which I was surprised about. Um, but ducking down here, it feels like uh, the regular flex really does um, work for me. Uh, I've got it 10.5 degree loft, so I picked up the M4 head as well. Now, let's just put them side, side by side. Blame me, that actually. The footprint looks very similar. Let's see from the top. The top. I'd say the, <laughs> the M2 looks bigger. Uh, probably because of the white. And the M4 looks a bit smaller. Went for the same degree aloft. Tweaked it down half a degree. So it's playing 10 degrees. I'll probably play that 10 degrees. Head. Shape and size are very, very similar. If you see that there, um, now have a guess in the comments how much I picked this up for. Bearing in mind, we didn't have the best of luck the first time. We've uh, checked this out, there's no chicky jiggles, there's a screw for fitting it into the shaft. Um, 
20 quid, because you were never going to guess that, were you? From eBay, uh, from a tour seller. So that is a cracking unmarked head. It's got the tiniest mark on the sole. That's like, it's just a little ding. It, hardly anything. I could barely see it myself. I could actually probably, eh, uh, slightly uh, solder it if I wanted to really, you know, but it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. So we are going to go with both these drivers. Already hit this and on the course, it's a weapon. The sound, like I say, is completely different than what it was in the range. So, mu so much better, like a, a real, it's not like a high pitched, but it's more like the stealth sounding. Yeah, uh, so I'm hoping that the M4 sounds as good, possibly a bit louder. Um, ghost tape on ready, but there's no marks on it. Face, yeah, there's a couple of little tiny, tiny marks, but for 20 quid, um, obviously, I can swap the heads, um, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, haven't tried it yet. Maybe one will go slightly lower than the other. So if it was windy, play the M4 head. If it's not windy, play the M2 head, you know? So I'm keeping my options open. Next time you see the clubs will probably be on the course. And we'll give you a talk through what we're doing with them and stuff. But very impressed with the M4 head. Obviously there's no issues with the crown, like there was on the Stealth. <laughs> We had to re-glue the crown on and that took forever. Uh, this one, hardly a mark on it, really good value. Top eBay seller selling that for 20 quid. I know it's an old driver and sure, there's a couple of little marks. It's definitely been hit. They've probably uh, maybe been an X-Demo and it's um, fell and maybe just hit a wee stone or something. Uh, it's certainly not going to structurally do any damage or difference to that. So looking forward to uh, getting out of the course with these and uh, seeing how they go because we are on a budget. Um, so if you can help with the channel, um, I'll leave my email. Obviously, we're playing irons that are 20 years old. My driver from 2017, uh, a putter, an 8813, but... That ain't coming out the bag. That originally was 1970. Uh, so it's 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 donkey's old. What's that? 54 years old. And it's still holding the putts. Um, only thing I did with it, as you know, I put a, a, a new grip on it. The leather grip that was on it was just too thin. It was a lovely grip, but it was too thin. And uh, I put like a, a small super stroke on it and what a difference that's made. So, yeah, we're sticking uh, with the channel. We've got a lot of things going on. Um, we've got the pro games coming up in the summer. Um, so there's lots of good stuff. Um, and obviously we're all, all of us, all of us are waiting for the Masters because that's normally when our golf course at home, your home course, my home course, starts to maybe look a wee bit better. You know, start April and that, and it starts to turn the corner from dormant winter mush with wet everywhere to the hopes of the wee rhododendrons coming out and the flowers. And um, let's hope so, eh, because we need a bit of a, bit of a lift. So thanks for supporting the channel and watching. I uh, hope to all see you soon. And uh, a like and a share. Be brilliant. Shout out to Bill Phillips. Sorry to see you sort of uh, say you're, well, you know, you've had enough. Uh, you've gone as far as you can go. Uh, great guy, Bill. And uh, all, all you subscribers will know that because you probably watch Bill Phillips um, videos. And uh, Lee as well, you know, you watch him. All great guys, you know, and together we're all trying to achieve the same thing and uh, improve our golf and stuff, you know. So thanks for watching, guys and girls.